Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Shazzy. Hi, Renee. How you doing, Shazzy? I've got tea. Mmm. How are you guys doing? Hi, Linda. Hi, Monica. How are you doing? Have you guys been creating tonight at all? Or doing anything crafty? Are you doing better, Shazzy? Oh, well, that's good. We were just talking about you last night, Janie and I. We were wondering where you've been and how you're doing. Hi, Gail. Hi, JD. Whoops. My coffee cup is sticking to my warmer thing because I had spilled a little bit of the tea down the side of it a little bit before. I made a mess. I made an oopsie. I also got paint and gook on my thingy. I feel it from when I was doing those things on Wednesday. I never properly cleaned up my desk, I guess. You arted this morning? You were cooking all day? What were you cooking? You prepare meals ahead of time and then freeze them or something I can't do that I never I don't know I never could do stuff like that I wish I could I do that well I've done I have done it like in some instances like I'll make uh, you know like some like Italian dishes or something like baked ziti or lasagna and I'll like make them in smaller make a bunch of it in smaller pans and put those in the freezer but it's rare that I do it I actually have stuff to make stuff shells and I want to do that. So I'm hoping next week I'll have time, but I have no idea. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Tammy. You're home for more than 10 minutes. Why, why were you not home? Because you didn't have power? You made a big pot of chili? Oh, wow. Huh. I wish I liked chili, but I don't. Not enough to, like, you know, make it. <laughs> I don't know. It's not my thing, I guess. Over here. I do. Make more of a mess? Probably. Hi, Jasper. So, um, I had gotten these stencils a while back. Um, they're a bunch of, uh, oh, they already have holes in them? Oh, good. They, oh, they have tape on them. They're like a whole bunch of, like, mandala-ish stencils. And I wanted to play with them. See, there's, like, different ones. They have holes in them, so I'm going to put them on a ring, I think, instead of putting them in my book. 
because usually I would put these in my book but since they have a ring or hole on them I have like a wire thing I could put through them I'm not gonna do it now obviously but um and I thought maybe I'd play with some inks and stuff and do some different things and just make some pretty backgrounds and stuff I don't know I don't know uh but I'm, uh, oh, and for the Patreon class this month, we're going to do, uh, I have to put the class together. I totally forgot that February is over soon, but we're going to do, it's for the $10 and up tier. We're going to do a, a mono printing class and it's not going to just be like jelly print stuff. It's going to be all different types of mono printing. So that should be fun. Hi, Katie. Two years now, so you haven't been around in two years? Has it been that long? Wow. What have you been doing? Oh, and this chat moved up. I can't read it. Where'd it go? Get back here. Hello? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, you stayed with your parents? I thought you lived with your parents, Tammy. Did I ask you this already? Oh, maybe I'm going insane. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Debbie. My eyes are wigging out on me today. If I missed you, if I, if I didn't see you in the chat, say hi again because I, I might have missed you by accident because my eyes are playing tricks on me today. I think these bright lights so close to my monitor, it like, it bothers my eyes sometimes when I look at the chat. You were sick? Jeannie was sick. Who's Jeannie? Um, oh, I'm sorry you were sick. You were sick for two years? What was the matter? I hope you're okay now. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. So both you and your partner were sick? Oh, I hope you guys are okay now. That doesn't sound fun. I watched the Tim live today while I was having my coffee and, and packing stuff. I was watching it. Um, it made me want to play with my alcohol inks, but I don't have any, I don't have the thing, but I want to get one of those thingies or I really want to get an airbrush thing because that's what's stopping me from doing more alcohol ink stuff. And I want to be able to do like alcohol ink tiles that, that can be uh, coasters because I can top them with resin. You know, they look so pretty because I have one that I did a while ago. And it's like really pretty. So I want to do that. But unfortunately, I want to get an airbrush thingy because I think that would make it a lot better for me. Those cans of air are too expensive to go through. Um, so someday. But today I want to play with these on some uh, either glossy cardstock or just different things. Um, what did I do? Uh, let's see. Which Do I have glossy cardstock in here or... I'm trying, let me see if I have my, what I have over here because, I, see, I had a bunch of glossy cardstock and I think I either used it all up or something. I must have, oh, here's some backgrounds I did. What is it? When did I do these? When did I do these? Oh, that night where I was playing with the inks or whatever, I did all these. So I might be able to use some of those with something else later to put some of those on top. But let's see, I have, let's see if there's regular cardstock, glossy cardstock in here, or if it's photo paper, which is fine. As long as I'm using the ink, I think it'll be fine. What's that? That's not, that ain't glossy. Well, it's glossy, but it's not glossy at the same time. Okay, I guess I have to grab some. Oh, I do have, uh, where'd it go? I have, this is a mess. I had this paper all organized and I've made such a mess out of it. This cardstock here, maybe it wouldn't work. I was thinking that maybe ink would go on that nice, but I'm thinking maybe it won't. Um, let me see. What's this one? Oh, I have more of that cardstock. Is it the same? I guess it is. Oh. Oh, I could print on this? Well, damn. I need to print on that. I don't know why I'm using it for other things. I 
I knew that too, and I forgot all about that. Anywho, ooh, I have some silver. That would probably work good. Silver, and I'm still looking for my glossy. Oh, here I have this, which would be cool to do inks on. Um, let's see. Um, boopity boop. Poop, poop, poop. I'm looking to see if there's glossy cardstock in here before I have to get off of my big ass. Ooh, crap. I thought I had more in here. I did not. I have like little pieces, but I need bigger pieces. Let me go grab some out of my closet. Hold on a second. Okay, I found my regular glossy cardstock. This isn't photo paper. This is actually glossy cardstock. I found it. Yay. So I thought I wasn't didn't have any left. But I have this stuff. Hi, Barbara. Mm, maybe that won't work. I thought that was more paper. Like, well, that's interesting. Where did I get this from? I okay. got... On clearance somewhere? I don't know. It was in my closet when I was cleaning up and organizing my um, paper closet. Like, I don't know when that was. Six months ago or so. I had found this and I was like, oh, that would be cool. It's like really interesting. It looks cooler in person because it's very like freaky looking. So I might save that to do something else with because I don't think the ink would take to that very well. All right. I guess that's out. This will work. I'm going to try to use some, let's see, we need a funky something here. Um, hey, hey, because then I can like cut it out and put it on something. That one's kind of pretty, but I think that one, yeah, be, we'll put that in the running. That one's pretty. They're all pretty, but I'm looking for specific that one's pretty. 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 Okay. And that one's pretty. So let's see, let's do, maybe do this one. I like that one. I may need some washi tape to hold everything down. Let's, let's do that. And I was gonna use Distress Ink. Alcohol ink would be good on that, though, wouldn't it? But we're going to try Distress Ink. Actually, alcohol inks are in the other room, but I might get some. And, and maybe I'll try first. I'll try it with the Distress Inks, and then I'll, I'll if, I, if I need to, I can get my alcohol inks to pounce it on, you know. I can do that type of stuff. That's all in the other room, though. But I would like to try first with and see if the distress inks will take to this stuff. If not, um, not a big deal if it doesn't. Not a big deal. Let's see. Um, do I want the oxides? Yeah, maybe I could do oxides because that, as long as it would dry on this. I mean, it would. It would just take a bit. I'd have to let it sit. I would think. We could try it and see what happens. You don't know until you experiment. So we're going to experiment. and see if it works on there. If it does, great. If it doesn't, great. 
we shall see. Oh, there's a purple one. Which color is that? That's fine, I'll do that one. Let's see if this will work. Because I know it's going to be weird, but let me just see if it's showing up or at all. Oh, yeah, it is, actually. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm just hoping it'll dry okay on here. I mean, I'm sure it will at some point. It might not dry. It might take a little while, but <laughs> that's okay. And then, let's see. I can wipe some of that off and use... Actually, let's use a uh, pink color, maybe. Or I think this color would be good. Could be a little so how you been doing Barbara I haven't talked to you in so long doubting that it's that it's working. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, is that working? It is. <laughs> You're sitting in the car taking Mark to his doctor's appointment now at 9 30 at night, 10 30 at night where you are? Huh? Why are you doing that? His doctor's appointment's this late? Am I reading that wrong? Probably. Mm, let's do a little of this color. I like the smaller ones because I can get into areas a little better. Hi Cheryl, how are you? Oh, no, not tonight. Okay, I thought I was <laughs> reading. I had to read that wrong or something. somewhere. Okay. I might as well put them in there. I don't have one for yellows. Oh, did he? How do you tolerate it? Okay. Fingers crossed that he does well and Doesn't have to deal with this crap for too much longer.
if you weren't here before, I said, um, if you're in my Patreon, uh, we're going to be doing a mono print class for this month. It'll be for the $10 tier and up. Um, we're going to do uh, some cool mono printing techniques that are easy and you don't, you don't, you know, not even with a jelly print. We might do some on a jelly plate, but I'm going to show you some other ones that you could do without a jelly plate that are a lot of fun and easy. Just some fun ways to make some interesting backgrounds and stuff. maybe or something so I didn't do any kind of pink except for that little bit in there where's the I have the pink one where'd it go oh that was a big one I think do I have a little pink one oh yeah this one maybe I use that one I don't remember hi Debbie oh and don't forget I'm having an auction tomorrow too if you're gonna be around and I have another one of those albums the velvet albums the velvet uh, Victorian red velvet album with the ornate clasp. This one's even nicer than the last one. So I'll have that tomorrow. I was going to bring it upstairs and I totally forgot, but. Where the heck is Janie at? Let me message her because maybe she doesn't realize I went live. Because <laughs> I haven't seen her come in. And usually she comes in. I don't know. Unless she went to bed, but she was awake last night. My computer's being slow. Hi, Jamie and Sarah. No, you don't need a jelly plate for the class. We're doing, um, most of the stuff we're going to do is not going to be on the jelly plate. We might do some things on the jelly plate, but ma majority of the class is going to be stuff without a jelly plate. So you don't need a jelly plate. But if you ain't got a jelly plate, you need to get one. Not for the class, just for the sake of <laughs> everybody should have a jelly plate. Because <laughs> they're a lot of fun to play with. I'm putting some on the outside of the stencil because I'm obviously going to take the stencil and spray it a little bit. And so I want the ink to be kind of even around the outside of it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of that and just a little center a little bit okay so that should be okay let's see how that turned out oh that looks cool cool For a second, I know these are water soluble, it'll probably come off of there pretty easily. But obviously, as long as you're not using water on this, it would be fine. Once it dries, it'll be 
good. That came out cool. Dry it a little bit. And then I'll just let it dry. Oh, there's Janie. <laughs> I was thinking, where the heck is Janie? I didn't see you come in yet, so I thought it might have been. So we'll set that aside and let it fully dry. I'm going to take that other thing and grab a piece of watercolor paper and make a print with that. Oh, there it is. Ow, ow, ow. I just banged my knee with the side of the watercolor pad. That hurt. <laughs> that was hurdy. Very hurdy. Okay. So I'm just going to cut this because I don't want to end up with stuff all over. And that's what will end up happening is I'll end up making a mess and getting it on every part of the watercolor paper when I just want it on the part that I'm going to use for now. Okay. <laughs> Here, she was on a date with Nightbot. <laughs> How dare you. Okay. I've got to spray this. I'm going to spray it over my garbage can. Just so that it's not, makes doesn't make a mess all over everything. And then I'm going to put this on there and I'm going to press it down. You went to the casino after work. What casino? You have a casino by you? You won $64. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, it didn't leave much of a print, but it left a print. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be down a little more, a little longer. Where's the things? Right there. Probably not lining up. There it is. Lined up in different funky. Maybe it needs a little help. I think it's a little pushing that I didn't do before. Okay, it's a start. <laughs> there wasn't enough on there, I don't think. All right, I thought there would have been enough on there. So you actually made $44? Alright. Let's see. Let me get a piece. 
is in this pure glossy card stock stuff. And maybe we'll do which one did I like? Let's do not that one. Let's do this one. Because this one, again, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm just going to use the ink blenders and do, you know, put the color in, do the thing and put the color in. Well, you know what I should do first? Mm. Before I do that, get that over there a second. I'm going to put a a yellow background on here um, on around the edges and stuff. Where's my do I have a yellow blender thing? Here it is. It's got a little schmutzy purple on it, but that's okay. background so that it has a little something you probably can't even see it on camera because it's extremely pale but if I hold it up the lights weren't so bright you could see it it's just it's there it's a lot brighter than it looks on the camera but it's definitely there but it'll be a nice uh, background for that thing so it's not so stark white. Let's see. Now, how big is this? I'll make sure I get around all the outsides. splotches. Well, that ain't nice. That's okay. They won't really show up once I put the other duders on. Oops, don't bend it. Don't be. I put the other colors on. It won't matter. Right here. <laughs> Duh. So now this way I can put the thing on there. Now if I color it. I'm just going to use a color that's going to complement that little bit of yellow there. Like either I can do the darker one or maybe some of that orange color or something. Um, maybe, oh, I could do the spicy marmalade on that, but I'll work from the center first. I think I'll do, um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do maybe I'll do the fossilized amber in the center center and then I'll go out from there. Uh oh shit, my paper had 
had to move, didn't it? You son of a bitch. Oh, I need another piece of tape. I thought I had enough tape hitting the paper, but clearly I did not. Clearly I did not have enough tape hitting the paper. It should be fine now. It's hitting in all the places. That's good enough. I had to go and ruin it. I done did ruined it. Let's do some of this color. I have a small pink one in here for the wood. Get some of the darker pink off of here. Hi, Stacy. Who's having a hysterectomy? I'm out of the loop already. Hi, Nina. <laughs> Nina says, that, and I'm having the poopsies. Maybe that's what I should call it when I'm having a bad Crohn's day. I'm having the poopsies today. <laughs> the poopsies. <laughs> Wait, who had a hysterectomy? Wait, what happened? I'm out of the loop. You're sore, but you're here. What What are you sore from? Do you have the poopsies? <laughs> oh, you had the hysterectomy? Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Get out of there, fool. A little bit of the foam came out. Okay. Um, next we'll do... Um, I need another. I'm going to do some of the crackling campfire. And then we can go out with the lighter one. But for now... I can do the crackling. Didn't I grab one for the orange? What did I do with it? Oh, was that for yellow? Oh, that was for the yellow. So I think I might need one. Oh, I have an orange one. Never mind. Oh, your uterus was growing onto your bladder? Oh God! Was that was it like an adhesion? Wait, did you talk about that to us already once before, or was I talking about who was I talking? I was talking to somebody about adhesions one time in the live stream recently. I don't remember who that was, but we were talking about it. I don't remember if that was you or not. I get everybody mixed up. We all have so many ailments, it's hard to keep track of whose is what and what's going on. So forgive me if I don't remember something you tell me, because <laughs> we all, we're all, we all have stuff going on. And I have a hard time keeping track of what's going on with everybody. All right, so that's that one. Let's see. Um, what about... Oh, it would go good with that. I got the orange. We got another pink, maybe a darker pink. What's darker pink? I need this one. And then I'll finish with a little yellow and then that lighter orange, maybe, or something. So I purposely left this little bit undone. But it looks like it's going to. Seep up into the other one anyway, even though I don't want it to.
I'm going to need to pounce it to make it a little darker because that one is almost the same color, it seems. It's hard for me to look at the chat when I'm doing this. Too much scar tissue. Yeah. Well, I hope you get feeling better soon. glass a little bit in there and then I'll do oh wait I was gonna stop stop with the orange wasn't I which orange this one so I can't do the blue then I don't have to stop with that I can stop with something else as long as it'll go over the orange which I'm, or the yellow which anything really will yeah, I'll do the blue whatever I'll do what I want I gotta wipe this off or else. Hi, crafty gal. Yes, getting old does suck. It's not fair. Especially when there's people that are able to get old without a whole bunch of ailments and issues and surgeries and all that. I don't mind if it goes up into that a little bit as long as I just don't want it to turn too green that's going to probably turn a little purple there which is fine But yeah, I have that alcohol lift ink that he was using. I've had it for a long time. I just haven't, I haven't even, I've not really even used it. I have the, I have those cool metallic papers that have the ghost, they called it ghost ink or whatever. It's basically, it's basically the same thing as the, uh, it's, you know, it is, it's the alcohol lift ink, but it's for this special paper. And I have that as well, which I haven't used. I should probably play with that. <laughs> I got them like years, a couple years ago. I don't remember. There was a bunch of things that happened that, that made it so I didn't end up get, get to play with them. I don't remember what it was. Something. Okay. So I did blue and then... Oh, you know what would look pretty over that? The peacock feathers would look pretty at the end of that, probably. That one. I'll use the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's a little bit less. It's a little drier. Is this plastic in this pencil? Get out. I'm out of focus. Um, I don't think I'm out of focus. Am I out of focus? Does anybody else see that? Or is it? I don't think I'm out of focus, but it could be. <laughs> On my end, it doesn't look out of focus. Could it be? Do I have the contrast turned up a little too much? Probably from that night when I was messing around. It's possible I have it turned a little too up, which could make it look Let's 
take our sharpness. Hold on. I have the autofocus on, right? Yeah, autofocus is on. Um, does it look okay? Look bright and chipper. <laughs> bright and chipper. That's good. Is anybody else having focus issues? Um, here's a question. Um, um, who was it that said that? Uh, whoever said that about the focus. Um, if you go to the, it could be possible that YouTube threw you into a bad um, resolution. So at the, underneath the video, it, you'll see like a little gear icon. If you click on that, make sure that it's at the highest resolution. Like it'll, if you click on the gear and go, let me look for a second because I forget what the thing is. Um, if you click on the little gear, all right, it'll have like the quality, it'll say quality and hover over that or click on it and it'll say like, um, it'll give you a, like uh, a video quality. It could be like go up to at least 720 or 1080 or whatever it says, like the highest number is your, would be your resolution. So make sure it's on that because sometimes it defaults, especially if your internet is slow like at, at some point it might default you down to the lowest thing which could look fuzzier and not as nice so check that and see if that's the reason potentially upo paper no this is just glossy cardstock i'm working on right now i do have upo paper though i'm tempted to get my alcohol inks and play with some of that stuff because they're in the other room but they're all in containers i can just bring them in i could make some papers i might do that i just want to play with the inks first and then we'll move on to that at some point all right i could make the tips of it um, do I have a small purple one? Do you hear, is there a little purple one in here? No. Yes, what's that? Gray. It's green. It's brown. Oh, there's more in here. There's pinks. There's pinks here. There's another blue one. How many blue ones do I need? Here's a... That had white or something on it. Is that it? Okay, I don't have a purple in the little one. Apparently. What's this? That's another one with white on it. I don't need that. Alright, we'll use one purple. So I was using the big one for the purple. Maybe I'll take a little bit of purple and just go to the tips a little bit. And I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of back it down. Oops, I did get a little too much on there.
Okay, let's see what kind of disaster that turns into. kind of disaster this turns into. Hey, don't work my washi. I want to be able to use it again. Dumbass. You are not permanent. What? Oxides? Are you talking about oxide inks? Oxide inks are not permanent. Well, they're permanent when dry unless you get it wet. I mean, they're not just going to rub off with your fingers once they're dry, but when they're wet, they will, you know, if you get them wet, they will. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Not pretty. Now, I'm going to try that thing again, but this time I'm going to wet the paper rather than the stencil. I'm going to do extra watercolor paper. Gonna be hard to do because it's buckling. Crap. Hold on. Let me see if I can possibly tape it, even though probably not. And I put that on crooked. Let's see if I can get it to stay down a little bit. No, maybe not. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, tape. Unfold yourself, you jackass. What do you think you're doing here? You ain't helping the situation none. By being a pain in my butt. I don't. Do I have anything hard to put over top of that? Maybe. I'd like to lay something on there to put pressure on. Had a pedicure, Laura. Nice. I have a feeling this one worked better with the spraying of the paper instead of spraying the stencil. I just have a feeling. But here's an idea too, rather than lift it up right away, I'm gonna keep it on there because and tack it down to the thing. And then I could take another color and go on the inside there. Now that it's pretty much dry from me putting that cloth over top of it, the paper in there is dry. Um, so what color didn't I use? I bet you that would look pretty did use some fossilized amber, let me see. Um, just like this, maybe like, like just this light spun sugar maybe, or in the little holes, just so that it has that like backgroundy effect sort of. I'm gonna get one, a clean one for the lighter pinks because those other darker pinks have a tendency to take over. And it probably won't show up much on camera, but it is showing up here. <laughs> different colors. Let's 
see if it's all kind of squishes about under there, mixes and does all its things. Okay, now we'll go to this. Maybe we'll do this Victorian velvet, which is another light color. Light purple. Do I have another one? Let's do this one since it's nice and light. Lighter than the other purples. Let's do what else I got in there. We can do some of this tumbled glam. It's really dark on there, ain't it? Do I have a lighter blue? I know I had other blue ones. If this blue, that one's dark. Dark. That's the white one again. Ooh, need to get out the way. Hmm. I thought there was another blue that one, lighter one. I guess not. Okay, I'll just use whatever one is dry. Dryer? Driest? That one will do the trick, I think. That's good enough. Should use my brushes too. Maybe the next one I'll do with the brushes. The blending brushes, you know. Okay, maybe we'll do Maybe we'll do a pink, festive berries, maybe. Get a little more bold because there's lighter colors in the center, I remember. So we'll use a little bolder color so it'll pop. It's probably going to look horrendous. <laughs> it's going to look terrible and I'll be like, okay, <laughs> that didn't work out so well. And then... Let's see. I forget what I put. Oh, the right here. All right, so that's a dark pink. Will be around that lighter pink. Um, maybe we'll do a darker orange on the center. Where'd it go? Crackling campfire. Maybe I'll do. sound effect makes it work better. Do, 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 do. And then in the center, I did yellow there. So that means there's going to be a yellow outline. So maybe I'll do a lighter orange like this one. I don't have a scrap paper to try it on. So maybe that will work.
cool. All right, let's see what kind of monstrosity we get out of this. There's still wetness under there, so that's a good sign that, that we got a lot of uh, that. Got a lot possibly soaked in really well, hopefully. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> Should have dried that. If you use the heat gun, it'll come off clean. I won't take that off yet, but that's kind of cool looking. Very cool. Interesting. I should have maybe stuck to a little bit lighter colors towards the center, but, <laughs> but that's okay because the center colors didn't show up as well from the stencil. Terry. One of the other channels you follow has just gotten into what? Be sealed or domed with UV resins. I'm not sure what says it can be used with regular resin. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Um, Jesmonite? What's that? You said it's a gypsum cement mixture. Is it a... Uh, is it that like the white cement? Because I use the white cement. It sounds similar because it's basically but I don't know if it is or not. If it's super porous, which a lot of cements are actually porous, um, I don't know about putting resin on it because it might just soak in. So you might just want to do a test piece first and see before you actually do it because cements are porous. Um, and when you use resin and you're top coating something with resin, you typically want to stick to things that are not porous. So. But I mean, you know, you might want to do a test piece because you might be able to put like you might be able to brush some resin on it to kind of close up the pores on it. And then you'll be able to go back on top of it and dome it or whatever. You know what I mean? But straight out of the gate, you probably wouldn't be able to just go right in and dome it because it's probably going to not work out as well as you think it would because it's because of the. The fact that it's going to absorb some of the resin. Because I use the, the um, Jennifer's cement, which is basically a cement gypsum kind of, it's a white cement and it's really sturdy. Unlike Plaster of Paris, which is garbage. I don't like Plaster of Paris. Um, so... It's probably, I'm assuming, something similar to that. Get back here. These things keep dropping on the floor. Now, once this is dry, I can go in and make it shiny again by adding the, uh, it's shiny where there isn't the ink, but, I mean, where some of the ink is when I put it on thin it was, but I can go back in and Seems like it's pretty dry now. Yeah, it's dry. Um, I'll just try to make sure. And if I can find my uh, stuff, my I don't know, what is it called? I always forget the name of it. <laughs> that stuff. Let's call it that stuff. Stuff, stuff. 
my uh, homemade version of the Distress Microglaze. That's it. Wherever the heck it is. It's in here somewhere. Oh. Whoopsie. I'm not going to go over, but I think it's right over here. Just got to find a way to get to it. No, that's not it. Where are you at? My from Glaze. Where you be? You're around here somewhere. Hmm. Where the heck did I put it? Well, knocking things over. Get stuff out of here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Move that. Get that out of here stuff in my way. I can't kind of get to these little compartments because there's stuff in the way. Got to get this stuff out. I can pull out these baskets because that's likely where it is in one of these baskets. If I'm able to pull them out and look and look. Mm, I'm not seeing it. I know I rearranged everything in here, but did I stick it in the drawer, maybe? Maybe I didn't put it back up here because it was in such a small container. I don't know. I'm trying, I try to find logic in some of the things I do. <laughs> it seems to just, just go right out the other side. Uh, let's see. It might be over on this side. Maybe. Um... Understand where it could have went. Well, that's just frustrating, isn't it? Right in there. Is it in here? No, not in there. Hmm. I am not happy with that. Very small little container. Hmm. Well, so much for that, I guess. I'm not sure exactly where that disappeared to. Maybe it just ran away from home. Said, I don't want to be here no more. of it to do that to me I'm trying to think of where I always had it when I before I rearranged my desk because I don't think I would have moved it too far away from where I always kept it Very 
very weird. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how things disappear in this room. Is it in here, maybe? Not in there. Not in there. But definitely not in there. Now I have to get that drawer back in. Hello. Huh. That's too weird. I don't like it. In there, is it? Out of curiosity? No. So much crap in there too. Now, open this thing over here. So I don't want to see it here either, but at this point, I don't know what that thing is. Apparently, I haven't a clue. Oh well, I was going to use it, but I ain't going to worry about it because I can't find it. So, who cares? Let's see. Let's do, let's do one of these. Um, piece of this. It's not all going to fit, but that's okay. So, I can have it go off the page a little bit. Actually, I'll tape it down there. So I don't have to tape it where the stenciling goes. I just have to tape the stencil down. Hi, Denise and Linda. Oh, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a giveaway for those in the Patreon. Oh, a tape. You're going to win my ATC that I made. If you're in my Patreon, I'm going to do a giveaway. This is the one that's, there's a picture of it that looks much different than looking through this camera makes it look terrible. But it actually looks kind of cool, but it's like rainbow kind of colors. Um, like metallic rainbow colors, but it doesn't look so hot on camera. You have to go look at the picture of it in the group. Because it shows them more of the true colors than it does on here. So... If you're not in my Patreon, I'm going to have to pick again, but I'm going to let Nightbot pick. So if you're not in my Patreon, I'll have to skip you. Um, because this is just for the Patreon peoples. Come on, Nightbot, pick someone. Linda, I don't think you're in my Patreon, are you? Are you? I don't think so. Let me know, but I don't think so. I'm not sure. Oops, my camera's being weird. Oops. I'm just knocking things over. Computer's being so slow. Jesus. Come on, computer. Catch up. Goodness gracious. No, I don't see you in my Patreon. Okay. Let me go to let's see what the next one is. Ow, my leg. I'm like, yeah, it's, there's a big lag. Just my computer itself is being really slow. Come on. Janie! Janie wins it. You want me to send it to Sarah? Yeah, I could send that to Sarah. Totally. Sarah wins it. <laughs> I gotta write on the back of it. I gotta find a pen or something. It's 
for you, Miss Sarah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab a couple of these brush things that I have. Probably quite dusty. I only have one here. Only one. Over four. Where's the other ones at? Are they hiding? Yes, they are. Hey, yeah, they are. No hiding. No sleeping on the job. Three will work. I thought there was a fourth one, but I don't know where it is. I have these, like, you know, those, like, blendy brushes. I do have a couple of those Tim Holtz ones, too. I forgot. I have at least one. I might have two. Is it two? Maybe just one. I think there might have been two for some reason. I could be wrong. Don't they come like two in a pack or something? I think somebody gave somebody. Two of them. Who knows? Well, yeah, I have that one too. Yeah, I definitely have another one because or at least I think I do. I don't know. Anyway, you can add ink with any of these. These are the ones that are from the Clarity stamp or whatever. Let's see. I'm going to put some. Of this color, and I'll do this one in the in the purple. I'll do that one in the center. how to use these ones very well. I forget. Mm. You ate no bake cookies? What no bake cookies did you make? I want cookies. I might stick to the smaller one because it seems to be a little easier to get smaller areas done by doing the smaller one. Getting all the purple mixed up in there. So you put cocoa powder, peanut butter, and oats together. Cook and stir. I thought you said it was no bake. It's not no cook, but it's no bake. <laughs> um, so what do you mean you cook it? You heat it on the stove or something? And then put sugar and butter in it? Mm -hmm. Let's do... Do this color. Okay, I'll do this one.
I've not ever had those. So you add raw, like the raw oats into it. Like you don't cook the oats at all and soften them. might do is go back in with the I don't know if I'd like that because they'd be that weird texture I don't like the texture of dry oats I don't know with this color a little bit I just Feather out that darker pink so that it's not so harsh against that yellow. off of that and I might go back in with some more yellow actually They don't show up on camera very well though. It'll look better when I hold it up, I think. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the. I'll do the fossilized amber at the very tips. So that'll be a little more of an orangey yellow just to kind of. Darken it a little bit at the tip. Okay, and then. Let's see. 
that like Victorian velvet color would be good for that. I'll do this little, these little arrow thingies here. All right. Let's see if this looks halfway decent. I'm going to take it off. No, I like to always do that. I'm going to lift it here just to make sure it's not needing to go over. Oh, that's pretty. That came out really pretty. Okay. Cool. That came out really, really pretty. It's so much nicer to blend with the brushes. I might be able to put that down if I wet the paper. Um, let me do it this way though. Because otherwise it's going to buckle. And I don't want it to. so that it gets even. Yeah, I think the brush is actually nicer to use than the blending things because it, it gives such a nice blend, you know what I mean? I knew that, but I always forget that, and I always just use the things, and then I realize afterwards, I'm like, well, I should have used the brushes. <laughs> Uh-oh, how did I get blue? There. Well, crap. That's okay. I could probably get some of it to loosen up a little bit. I might just have to go in with some blue. If I do, I'll dry this and then I'll use the brushes and go in with the light blue on the whole thing, maybe. Like this or something. Bigger one. Maybe it'll cover all that up.
Thanks, Sarah. holes of the center. The center's holes are little. The more you go over it and the more like you know light layers it'll put on so that's how you can build the color up gradually make it to the desired color you want or darkness watercolor look around the flower, the light blue flower. one or actually you know what we can do we can probably put two together and do like one simpler one on top of a darker one like um Tack that down. Get 
skim the paper first. And then tack that down. Watch it on the edge so I don't have to whatever get off there. Boom. That's fine. Um I'll put this little piece here, just there. Get off my fingers. It's stuck to me. I'm gonna use the squeezed, squoezed <laughs> lemonade. Squeezed. color coming off of it. Okay. I'm going to use a lot of lighter colors on this one, on the background one, and then I'll use darker colors on the other one. So we're going to start with this kind of in the center. And uh, just go out with that. Um, I think I will do the, maybe I'll do the fossilized anvil next and bring that one, that one out this way a little bit. Okay. Hi, Chris. How are you doing, Chris? Oh, and Rhonda and Esther. Anything I didn't see come in? Hello, hello. I apologize if I didn't see you come in. I've been a little sidetracked. with my whatever the hell I'm doing. <laughs> with my messes. Now I want to do a light orange. Actually this wild honey might be the best option for that. To go on the very outside which um, probably shouldn't be using this this brush I 
just try to work further in the game instead of out. Maybe that'll make a difference. Yeah, I think so. Oops, I forgot the right way. Oh, it's just like a mess now. I'm getting there. Let's see. Um, I wonder if I took like clean part of this and kind of outward a little bit if it would help it blend a little better in the areas I went a little too dark maybe I could have just ruined it I don't know it's possible I'm gonna go with this color these little squares See, it looks like it's almost all one color. It doesn't look like there's a variation, but as soon as I lift up the thing, I'm going to notice the different colors. That's the thing with, like, when you're using these light colors, they all almost look the same, but then when you lift up the tape, it'll be like, oh, that is different. It just doesn't seem it because it's such a subtle difference on here. Hi, Rebecca. Let's see, I'm going to even go a little further and take a little bit of this and go right around. It's like even this pink, like I can't even tell that there's any of it on there really, but I guarantee you when I lift up the thing, it's going to be like, bam, you'll see it. You can see it on the stencil, but it's hard to see that it's actually on the paper. Okay, you ready for the reveal? Okay. 
I'm going to look first and then I'll show you. <laughs> show it up close and then I got to put it back down because I have to do the other thing on top of it. See, I don't know if it shows all the colors, but you can see the pink on the outer edge and the different yellows and stuff. It looks much better in person, of course, but very pretty. And that can be wiped off right there because I don't know if it matters too much. Because I'm going to, if I use it, I'll cut it at that point. And then I'm going to take, I'm not going to do anything with this one because it's a pain in the ass. Or am I? Do I want to do something with it? What if I did it on the this paper? I'd have to, well, it wouldn't show up probably. Let me see. Let's just do this and wet that paper. I'm going to stop knocking things over. It would be wonderful. wet a piece of this and stick it down and see if that actually works pretty well. I keep knocking things over. second layer on top of that one. Okay, so I never did clean this one off though. Okay. Now, which one was it that I was going to use? <laughs> I don't remember what I did with it. Was it this one? This one. So what I was going to do is so I want one that I can do that would look cool. Like, hmm, maybe there was another one that had a, a pattern that I liked. Uh, that one, hmm. Is it this one? Hmm, maybe. This one? Yes, no. I wanted it to fit in there well. Let's see. Try. No. I think that fits better. Not sure, but I think it might. I like that one too. I don't know if I want something that covers it up so much. So let me go back to this one. Yeah, let's stick with that one. We're just going to go over top of it with that one. It's going to end up being kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I think that will actually look pretty cool. Yeah, I think it will actually look really cool. So, this one will be on the darker side. So let's see. So in the center, maybe I'll do a darker, like a pink. It doesn't have to be dark, dark, but like a pink color. And then 
since we've got oranges and yellows. Maybe I'll stick to the dark pink out there. Uh, yeah, this is enough pinks and stuff to do that, I think. Um, medium one. Yeah, let's do medium one. Let's do we'll have to do the light to dark again because I did light to dark. So we'll do spun sugar in the middle. Because I did light to dark with the yellows to the orange, so we'll do light to dark with the yellows to the pinks. Um And let's just see what happens with this doodad. It's good for the center. I don't think I need to rinse this off because I'm using similar colors. I'll do the kit flamingo after that. And we'll go. Upwards from there. Okay, that's a good one. And then warm lipstick. Will be next. That one goes on dark. Gotta remember where I'm at. Scientist <laughs> from the mad scientist, which accidentally went too far low that with that pink color. Oops. No, my science comes in when I'm when I'm making dupes of uh, things like the oxide inks and the distressed microglaze and the this and the that, and figuring out how to make your own at home. 
that's when I'm that's when I'm being my scientist, the mad scientist of figuring out the formulas of things. <laughs> And then we'll do the darkest color up at the top portion. It looks like there's nothing in the middle now because because it's gotten like so much darker on the outside. I might go back with the sponge sugar a little bit on there. I will have to take this off to do that. Clean that brush up. And dry it. It's just dry. Go back in with a little bit of this. So to blend it a little better where those two colors have met it works a little better okay and then i'm going to also take some what the heck is it the festive berries and i'm going to just go at the very very tip of that flower petal whatever you want to call it thing see what that looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, Sarah. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Funky. Likey. I like that. That looks cool. Where's the other thing that I put this on? Is it this one? Oh. I guess it don't matter, does it? That looks cool, doesn't it? <gasps> that looks cool. Um, I have a baby wipe over here. Do I pull it out? I'm going to get a it. One. Just one, please. I'll just like mop over here. I got it. That looks cool. Mm-hmm. I like it. That came out really cool. I like it. Alright, now. We can do another. This time we'll do light blues on the bottom and like purples on the top or something. Let's see. 
let's do Actually, be kind of cool. Put that one on the bottom, or should I put it on top? No, put it on the bottom. Put that one on the bottom. Put this over top of it. Let's try that. Where the heck is my cardstock? What do I do with it? Hmm, I lost it. I lost it. What the hell? Oh, right here. Do sitting right underneath all that crap. get out or hairs or whatever it is one of them was a bristle I think and one of them was a hair from my head wait which one am I doing these two no these two wait a minute no it was these two it was this one first and then this one right is that what I was doing yeah which one was first? I think this one was first. Okay. <laughs> I confused myself. Okay. So we're going to do light blues. Light blues. We got and that one's gonna be the one on top. So we got this blue and this blue. Oopsie, man down. That blue, and then we got this one. Yeah. Which one's lighter? Mm -hmm. I think that one's brighter. We'll go with that first. This one, since it's a little bit different, we'll add some of that in there. Yeah, it's quite a bit different. It's different. It's definitely different.
Alrighty, alrighty. I'm gonna go back to the glass one and kind of blend the two a little better so that I can see a more defined color there. switch to the bigger brush now because it'll be a little easier with this one to do the next color which will be probably yeah probably broken china would be the next logical choice I think To, I need to peek at this for a second just to make sure that the colors are doing what I want them to do. Yes, okay. Yes, but I need to darken a little bit because there's not a whole hell of a lot of contrast from those first two colors. So we're going to well, some darker color here. What I might do is go back in with this one. Well, I'm going to use this because that one's kind of wet a little bit. Okie dokie, now we'll go to the next darkest one. I right, did that. Those. Yeah, that one. And that. That's a little on the green side. And then we've got mermaid. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. The mermaidy lagoon. You need to make yourself some new stencils. What with your cricket or one of those doohickeys?
brush is a little still a little damp which is causing a little problem here and there but nothing I can't fix I think with a little bit of I don't know <laughs> I guess just more layers will fix that Okay, I'm going to use the little brush for a minute, which is also on the damp side. Hi, Diana. Hello, hello. Um, let me go back with some of this. use this one and maybe a little bit of this one just to go around the edge. Okay, popsy doopsies. I think that layer is done. Done, done, done. I want ice cream. I have ice cream in the fridge somewhere. Oh, so you have a scan and cut shell? Yeah, I have the Cricut. Okay. All right, so that's layer numero uno. And then we'll do the purple layer. But first, I'm going to use what's left on here to do something with. There you go. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see. Let me try to get some of these bits off here, lighten them. Okay, not going to work very well. 
well, but there. That came out really pretty. So you can't see as well as I can the, the different colors. They look much better in person. Much more vibrant and such. But now I'm going to take... Um, where's that watercolor paper that I had before? I'll use this little piece. And I want to wet it and put this down and then potentially put this one down too. Maybe I'll put this one down first. Oh, see, I won't be able to do that. I'll probably only be able to do one at a time on each of these. Where do I want my spray? Oh. Just get it all split out. Time for a med check, probably. Sounds about right. <laughs> are the new the new skin and cuts are really quiet? Hmm. I wonder if I immediately did this, if it would help. I wet that there, and then I'm going to stick it down here anyway. <laughs> Just to, I mean, why not, right? And I can't use the towel on it because of the, I don't want to wreck what I put down of the pink or lift any of that up, so I kind of have to be careful. Be careful. Maybe I can use this board because it won't hit the center of it. There. Yeah, nothing came up on it. Let's see what that did. Hmm. Something. It did a something. When it dries, I think it'll look nicer. It needs to dry. And this needs to be wiped off. Wiped off the face of the planet. And the other one too, what I do with it. There it is. Just hanging out over here. Okay. Should I do purples or should I do yellows and greens? Tape go. Oh, right in front of me. <laughs> Looks better now that it's drying.
purple. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I had a feeling. Purple, purple. Is this a purple? Yeah, it's like a lavender. And these are not some purples. Am I missing one? What am I missing? Excuse me, quit that. Quit all that. Uh, oh, shaded lilac. And milled lavender. Alright, so we'll go that to that. I don't know if I'll use this one, but to that maybe or some things that looks about right. Let's see. Yeah. To that, to that, to that. See those preserves. Blah blah blah. Thank you. No squeaking. What's this one? Victorian velvet. That one's milled lavender, and that one I'm probably not going to use that one. Okay, so I'll start with this one. I'm going to lay this on here. Lay it on here. It's going to sit weird, but... It's okay. I'm going to put it like that. Let's see that it's a little catty wampus. Candy Wampus. Don't forget I have an auction tomorrow. This one's still a little wet. Lightly. Let's so start with this one. I've not used this one yet, so we'll start with this one. I don't really have to wash them if I'm using all these colors. I like this one better because this one has rougher bristles whereas this one's nice and soft like the bristles are softer and these are a little rougher I'm not sure I think I kind of prefer the the bristles on those because they're nice and soft whereas these are more like a like a straw type of feeling I don't know I don't let me try what's the big one is that one dry yeah that one's really dry yeah see I like those like you get more of a softer Oh yeah, I kind of like that better. It's just my preference. I kind of like these better. They're much nicer. That's really pale. I may have to bump it up to the... Did I put that on crooked? Oh, come on. Did I? Hmm. Let me see something. Need to shift slightly. I'm glad I only put that really light color on. So I'm seeing that it's not as yeah, it barely shows up. So I'm not even gonna use that one. I'll just use those because this barely doesn't even show up. It's so light, it's not even making that much of a difference. Let's go. I'll make sure I'm correctly centered here. Ever so slightly crooked. Like it wasn't even. Now at least it looks even. 
We're going to start with this one because that one just does not show up. It's not enough to, over this blue to do anything significant. big one. This brush is a little on the big side, but that's okay. Next. and bristles. to sometimes get in the right spots because it's like your eye plays tricks on you on which way to go.
purple. Purpley purple. Ooh, you know what else I want to do? I have something else to do. Something else to do. I'll show you in a minute. I think we need like a darker purple, like a, a royal purple type of thing in this in the distress lines of color. You know what I mean? The purples to me are not they're too red. Aside from this one, which is still on the little bit on the redder side. Oh, to me, I might have a better a darker purple to put on the tips of that. Where the top? Oh, I'm like looking for the top. I know. I know. Um, you know what? In those little cubey ones that I have, um, cube inks. I'm not gonna these over. Now these look awfully dark. That dark? That's dark. But I think this, this one darker. Let me see. Hmm. Mm, not really. Not this one. Oh, this one's all weirded out. It's dark, but it's like the pad is all messed up. I got those from the credit of reading, so they might not be perfect. Oh wait, that's not one. There's a dark one. No, it's a little lighter than that one even. Dress ink, which this will be darker. Of the, what was it, Dusty Concord, or which one was it? Was this one? Yeah, that one would do better, I think. To punch the color up a little on the side, so I'll do that. Because I think that'll work better. We'll take a little of this. Darken it up on the edge, on the ends there. Give it a little punch. I wish there was a darker one even, but that's better than nothing. Okay, now, 
use this one. I'll go back a little with this one. see what we get let's see what we got let's see if it makes us happy or sad <laughs> what about a little black so oh yeah I could do that too let's see how this looks yeah let's do a little black on the edge oh, this looks cool though doesn't it but yeah I think you're right a little black would be I could mix a little black with the purple so that it would be not black black if you know what i mean um and i think you know i might be better off doing um, a regular ink distress ink oh if i maybe i have it in the small ones i'm pretty sure i do Right. Here. Rather than use the oxide has like a graying effect, so I don't know if, the, if I use the oxide it'll look as good if I just use the regular and kind of do a little pump. There it is. You disappear and drink it over here. So uh, where's the little brush? Contamination. <laughs> I may have to do that more than once. Like this as a dark purple, and I might use some just plain black. I like this as a combo up at the tip, but I'm gonna put some black too because it's also oh, okay. don't make a mess. It's so hard to go hit <laughs> the other angles, my arms don't want to go that way. Black is not as black as I thought it was. It's more in the gray. It's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Kind of like that. I'm going to do that 
it does things. back on that side. Okay. I think I'm good. Laura, you're up awfully late. Let's see. Ready? Ooh, pretties. You know what I want to do? Damn it. I didn't mean to get so much gobbly goop over here. Crap. That's okay. I'm kind of like half acidly fussy cut it out around the outside. But I'd like to take the other one and I'd like to darken up the blue edges. what I do with the other one? Uh oh. what I do with it? This one was the one that sat perfectly like that. I think we're straight first, so let's do that. I think it might. Yeah, there we go. Let's even them up a little better. Okay. Because I want to darken the blue, since we have such dark on the purple, I want to kind of make the purple, the blue, have a little more contrast to it. So. Let's go back to, oh, you don't have to do, where's that dark thing? Maybe jeans would be a good, or chip, is chip sapphire? Chip sapphire, that'll work. That'll work. That'll do the trick. You don't have water, Laura? Ugh. Oh, sorry to hear that. Did you have power?
Yeah, we didn't have mail service until uh, today, and I think it was the first time, and then I couldn't even get a pickup for until Tuesday. But today was the first day that we had mail service, and I still can't get out of my driveway. I have to get out on Monday because I had to get my medicine. They didn't even have my medicine in stock. One of my medicines I've been out of for days because the pharmacy didn't have it in stock. I'm like, great. sucky yeah it's been over a week since we had mail too um and then i it's been almost like two weeks since i've been able to get out of my driveway <laughs> that should be better now yeah cool i like that better now the blue looks a little more punchy in the back there Well, stop being a pain in the ass thing. That looks cool, doesn't it? Cute. You plow my snow and bring me provisions. <laughs> I was able to order some groceries and they were delivered because, see, you can get down my road. I just can't get out the driveway because <laughs> the driveway is still icy. And there's like a sheet of ice behind my car that I can't back over because my stupid car is in a four-wheel uh, four drive. So, But the road's clear if I could get past that point. <laughs> but I can't. So they brought groceries and they were able to do that because the road is clear. I can't get my car out. Oh, clean off this one. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we've got so far. We did that one and that one. And we did some of the watercolor from putting the things on it. And then we did that one. And we done did that one. And I done did that one. And we started with that one. Clean the silver. Oh, it's bright. Silver cardstock. Oh, and then we also have this one, which is really pale, but it's visible. It doesn't look, it looks brighter in person. On camera, it's a lot paler, but. Oh, and then also this one. 
And I see over here. Oh, that's that one that didn't come out very well, but that's okay. <laughs> um, move it out of the way. I want to get. I'm gonna go grab something real quick. Actually, I'm gonna run to the potty too. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got these moldable foam stamps. Have you guys seen these before? I've not even opened them. I've had them forever. <laughs> Never opened them. Um, but I was watching. You guys know that kid? He, he's like a little, like a little kid who's not little kid now, but he's probably like eighteen now. But he started when he was younger. But he has a, he has videos on YouTube. His name is Simon something or other. Anyway, he was showing a thing with these type of stamps. Of course, he was using like his brand because I guess he has his own now. Um, where he was, because obviously you can stamp into these and stuff with your stamps because you heat it and stamp into it. You guys have seen this stuff, right? Yeah, Simon Hurley, that's it. He did a thing with stencils and it was really cool. Um, and I want to try that. So, with like one of these, although of course these are a little small, but I can get like some patterns to it. I forget how he did it. Did he do it with the brayer or did he press it into the stencil? I guess he pressed it in. I can't remember. Or I can probably use my acrylic block to press it down, maybe. I don't remember how he did that now. Oh, well, we'll just try it. If you heat these up for about 15 seconds it'll 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 hold a a shape that you can push into it so i'm going to heat it up and then you can remove the shape by heating it again so it'll stay in there you know it'll stay in there for a while And you take your thing that you want to put in there in this case I'm going to do that and then I'm going to attempt to do it this way and see if that works if not I'll have to do it a different way yeah it did a little bit it's not it's a little faint but see um, hmm. I might see if I can get it a little more if I use the brayer that might work a little better. So I'm going to heat it. It's going to disappear and then I'll just do it again. But I'm going to try it with the brayer see if I can get a little bit of a harder, uh, like a little bit of a heavier. But see how it literally just disappeared. So if you could use this over and over again and put impressions in it. Try it with the 
layer. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe not. Maybe not. I forget how he did it. Yeah, it didn't work. I'm going to try it this way. <laughs> I won't press it in this time. Yeah, he used ink after. You have to make the impression first. You have to make the impression on the thing first. Oh, you know what he might have used? Uh, a, a foam pad underneath of it. Duh. That helped it go like... You know what I mean? It helped it press through. So I'm going to press it like that and hope that that'll be a little... Oops. We're gonna press it thing down on it. Try that. Heat this up. That's a little better. There we go. So now I can use this, cool it off. And I can use my brayer and I can print this onto paper. Onto paper. Hard for me to hold it still. All right, let's see how that works out. If it does at all. No, it didn't. It it doesn't create an impression on regular foam. Ooh, pretty. Look how pretty, pretty. And then you could probably squirt that with a little water and get another print. No, it did not leave an impression in this foam. I mean, aside from like a mark, but it's not going to... Whoa, my camera just wigged out. Yeah, like it doesn't leave the same impression. I mean, you might be able to leave impressions in this type of foam, but I highly doubt it'll go back to flat if you were to heat it again. Ooh, pretty. Cool. And you can use the same pattern over and over again if you want. Or you can just heat it. And, you know, do it over again. As it'll, the, the pattern will come off. Let's not waste this. Let's take it and... Um, do I have a piece of... Oh, here, I'll just use this piece. What is this? I don't know.
background for something or other. At some point I can add to it and whatnot. Let that dry a bit. Why not? No point in wasting the ink. Well, you can also do stamps, which, uh, let's see, I have, which, I mean, it'll give you, like, a negative image of the stamp. I'm trying to find my stamps. Where the heck are they? Oh, my big stamps. So, for instance, like this is like that pattern, but it'll give you like the background pattern instead. I can use a different one. So, let's see. So like you can just stamp that with whatever, even just take the ink and go over it. a more distressed kind of look to it fun to use to make marks with and stuff like on a jelly plate and stuff I can imagine be kind of fun here's just a piece of cardstock I'm gonna spray it with some water yeah but it's gonna give you the opposite impression you know what I mean it's not the it's not gonna give you the same look it's gonna be a different because it's gonna give you the negative of the stamp so it's not going to give you the same as the stamp itself the stamp will give you the raised bits this is giving me the inside bits if that makes sense here i'll show you because i did this like center section so it's going to look different it's going to look a little more distressed it's just to have something different it's not a lot of work that's a lot of work you heat it and you impress it and then you can use it and you over and over again that's not a lot of work. Let's see the difference. It has a piece of thread on it. So like that one does that, and then that one does the opposites. So like the color is in the those sections, and here it's the white. See what I mean? But it's fun to do with like the stencils. You don't have to do it with stamps. You can do it with anything. You can do all kinds of things. You can put your own impressions on it. So like if you had something that you want to make a stamp out of that you don't have. So for instance, like I can find it here. Oh, here somewhere. What do I do with them? So let's say you were like, oh, I wish that was a stamp. Well, you can make it into a stamp so that you can, you know, have it as a stamp. I'll just reuse this one because I'm not going to.
you see it for a few seconds and then press it on to whatever you want to press it on to for a second. And then you have an impression. And then you can use it like any other stamp. Or you can brayer onto it. What's nice is you can use it with paint on your jelly plate, stuff like that, which you normally wouldn't want to use with your rubber stamps. You can use with these stamps. And it'll stay like this until you heat it again. So, and you could keep doing it over and over again. Let's see. Um, what else can I make marks with? Here, I can make marks with the bottom of this if I wanted to. I can reheat this, which will make it go back to the way it was. take like I want to make like a funky stamp of some sort with weird patterns on it I could do something like that for mixed media mashup and just make like you know make a funky stamp I'll probably do a section at a time and do like that Distressed look. That one's a light color, but that's okay. It'll, it'll look nicer when I spray it, I think. Where'd my spray go? Oh, over here. backgrounds and stuff. Fun little backgrounds and stuff. You don't like the sound of that? Why? It doesn't sound like anything. It just sounds like sandpaper. It just sounds like sandpaper. Oh, an embossing folder too. Um, what do I do with them? Embossing folders. You can use them as well to press and your dies. Where the hell is the embossing folder I had? Over here. Oh, there. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's 
not it. No. We can use the back side. Are you talking about JD? She was in here earlier. overlapped. Mm -hmm. I done did some overlapping. That's okay. I don't care. I still like it anyway. Uh, 
going to be the card, but I can use a small card. I'm trying to find my small card, basically. They're here somewhere. I see them. Wait, what's that? What is that? Oh, or not. What's that thing for a journal thing? Um, is that a cookie small card? I don't know, but they could be over there. Interesting. Look what they're in here. What the hell is that? A little envelope. I'm getting closer. pieces of something. I didn't realize they were in there. when you fold it but oh well oh well I might do a couple backgrounds actually you know what maybe I will maybe I will do um first I'll do a Swipey background. Um, watercolor paper. There it is. I'll use this and I'll make a swipey background for my doohickey that I'm working on with some of this color. Color. too pale for this method. It's there, but it's very pale. <laughs> go with this. It'll be a little more in your face. And a little this lighter color, blue.
do some salt, salty ocean, and with all this guy here. Those are pretty colors. I like those color words. I like them. Put a little drop of the speckled egg. Right in there. Right in there. I'm not sure I like this with it, but I might do something with this on there, but I'm not sure. Either that or one of these, maybe. dark paper just to very slightly edge the give it a, a who's a what's it where'd that card go that I folded I lost it well I didn't like that cardstock anyway stupid cardstock sucked I'm not sure I have any other cardstock oh I do have some too Neutral I want it to be a small card. Well, I'll just fold it in half and then cut it down. Actually, I have a card sitting here. Yeah. Here. Let's use this. And then I'll cut it to fit. Carl, and I've got a mess going on up here. Carl needs a little bit of room. And I need a pencil. Anybody have a pencil? Mm -hmm. 
I have not cut. That side will not cut very straight, I guess. I don't have more. I hope I made sure the paper was straight before I decided to make it into a card. do something like that and then we need I said a dark piece is that what I said where's the other piece at did I drop it uh oh there it is so that can go on a dark piece of purple I think purple or something thin little border on there. Little, little itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Little, just a little something. Um, okay. So we don't need that anymore. Uh. Hi, JD. Somebody was looking for you. Laura was. I'm sure you know that by now. What'd you get at a thrift store? Your poodle? <laughs> yeah, I think Laura wanted to tell you that she didn't want to be your friend anymore or something. What was it, Laura? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I don't know what it was, but she was asking if you were in here earlier. Who's got a little car? You got a little Carl? Oh, really? Oh, you got a baby Carl? Huh. 
You'll have to send me a picture so I can see what it looks like. Does it work good? Now we put together. <sighs> he sits on a shelf. How come he sits on a shelf? You don't like him? You neglecting Carl? That's not nice. Oh, so is it, it's not like the one I have though. It's like their other one. They have one that's more along the lines of like a regular paper trimmer. Um, it's cheaper. It's, it's not like the high end ones. Um, is that one of the ones like you're talking about? I can see you, Laura. I, I'm looking right through your window right now. <laughs> Best way to cook a ferret. <laughs> See, JD, I told you. She don't want to be your friend anymore. She wants to cook ferrets now. I would imagine on a barbecue barbecued ferret that's a that's a specialty in some places i would imagine <laughs> gross do we put it cattywampus or do we put it straight cattywampus or straight cattywampus or straight put that like that no let's just put it straight and just be done with it just be done with it already poodles don't have any meat on them either Better off eating. Uh, something with a little more meat on it. Corgis, they, they have some good meat on them, those little corgis. Tomorrow I have my auction and I have another one of those uh, vintage Victorian journals, photo albums, the velvet one, a, a nicer, and one that was even nicer than the one that I had last week. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it. Nobody's allowed to have it. Mine. Hmm. 
the poker. It's the poker. Get off me, I don't like you. You have to be forceful with them. Or else they'll stick to you. If you just try to place them, most of the time it'll stick to you. Luckily they're, they're, they're listening to what I say. See? You gotta be forceful. You gotta tell them who's boss. Hi, Laura. Do you not have heat, Laura? sparkly one then it covers up that completely i don't want to do that because i mean that's dumb to cover that completely up oh wait oh i have those flowers but i dropped a whole bunch of them and i only have a couple of them that remained in here the rest of them all fell behind the thing in there i could do that that one matches pretty well thing hi Barbara okay maybe we'll do that Hi, Teresa. You have a heater by your legs? Cause you, do you have no zero heat or is it just cold in the house? And your legs are cold. Is your regular heat not working? I'm going to put some ink on that thing. Um, I'm just going to ink around it so it stands out a little more. Well, I'm not going to worry about that leaf because that leaf is not going to show. The flower is going to sit on there. I don't have a different one, do I? No. Not really. Don't drop it.
I should use hot glue. I'll use a pop dot thing. Maybe that'll stick better. Guess who's moving out in a couple days? Thank goodness. Pretty. Um, I'm gonna put a little sentiment maybe. What do we got? We've got creativity takes courage. We've got embrace beautiful chaos. That sounds good. Let's do that one. We like some beautiful chaos. Is he working at Amazon again? Well, he's been working at Amazon. He's just only had like two days a week. I mean, that's really all he works because he's being lazy. my little cutter. I haven't seen that in a while. Where the hell did that go? <laughs> my little guillotine cutter. Hmm. When I cleaned off my desk, I don't remember what I did with it. I don't think it's on my desk, right? No. What did I do with it? I must have stuffed it somewhere around here. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, because when I cleaned off my desk, I haven't seen it since then because I haven't needed it. So, where is it? Hmm. Um, did I stick it somewhere? It's gotta be over here somewhere. I would have never moved it that far from my desk, so it's around. I don't see it though. I don't see it. Is it behind my monitor back here? No, I don't see it back there. Hmm. Well, nope. I haven't a clue. Huh. Is it under here? on the floor over yonder so much crap around here it's pretty easy to lose something like that oh i need to take my medicine now Yay. 
take my medicine. I wonder where the hell it went. Carl's not the greatest for um, using small things, papers. Uh, let me look behind me over here. Maybe I put it back here. In the pile of mess. Very possible. Everything have to disappear on me. I can never have anything because everything always disappears. Good lord. It's the most annoying thing when you can't find something. And for me, it's every day. Every day it's the same shit, different day. I can't find this, I can't find that, I can't find that, I can't find that. Because the second I rearrange something, that's it. I lose it forever. Or for a long time, anyway. So I haven't a clue. And now I don't have anything to cut that with. And I... Because Carl doesn't work to cut tiny things like that, so... I'm just screwed, I guess. Because I have no idea where that tiny little cutter went. on a daily basis. This is why I don't want to craft in here anymore until I get it cleaned up because it's such a goddamn mess that I can't find a damn thing. Nothing. Oh, come on, dude. What the hell? I know I wouldn't have moved it far from my desk. That's so frustrating. That's so frustrating. I'm just like so over it. Screw it. I guess I'm not using that. <gasps> can't take it anymore. I really can't. I'm so tired of everything being absolutely ridiculously out of organized, like completely unorganized and just all over the place. It's ridiculous. I wish I had time to get things done. There's just not enough damn time. Ever. So I don't know where my cutter went. And so that means I can't make anything small, which means any cards I make, if I go to do anything small, I'm screwed, basically. Which pisses me off to no end because I know for a fact that it's got to be around here close by because I would never have moved it somewhere else because I use it right here so i know i didn't move it anywhere else so i have no idea it's got to be around here somewhere that's what pisses me off is i know it's around here somewhere but it's definitely not going to show up now for sure it'll be a year from now i'll find it buried under something right around here i don't know but this is just so frustrating Unless it's in one of these drawers or something, which no one knows. It's possible in this shit all over the room, that's for sure. Let's 
see it in the drawer as well. trade my life with me you can have it because i'm over it anyway yeah i ain't gonna find it okay oh well no cutter i guess i don't need it that bad the only sucky part about carl is they didn't make it with doing small things in mind at all which they should have but they didn't so if you want to do something really small you can't cut with that it doesn't work i don't know let's get that out of the way What the hell is Carl? My cutter. My large cutter that I use. You know what Carl is. Oh, he sleeps under my desk every day. He's a sleepy guy. He sleeps until he's needed. Is that all of them? I guess it is. You gotta get a Carl. Everybody should have a Carl. But to have a Carl, you have to have a small cutter too, because Carl doesn't like small things very well. He doesn't do very well with small, small papers. Not at all. He doesn't like them. Get out. 
Hmm. What is this? Glossy card stock? Oh, photo paper. That means photo paper. Photo paper. Photo paper. All the photo paper. These I did with them. Um, what do I do these with? Um, what do I do these with? The sticky? The, um, the sticky sheet? Did I do that with these? I don't remember. I don't remember how I did these. I do know that they need to be Take them a little bit. I don't know what I did these with, how I did this. Huh. I don't know. You stay away from my Patrick Dempsey, you hear me? You're not allowed to have him. You can have your other guy that you like. Albert Quinn, whoever he is. <laughs> you leave my Patrick Dempsey alone. And in, in Robert Downey Jr. And Harry Styles. I can't have any of them. swoop in and take my Patrick Dempsey? You're a wrong lady. You've lost your mind. You want, which one? Who's the billionaire? Oh, he's not a billionaire. He's a millionaire, but he's not a billionaire. Christopher Knight from the Brady Bunch. He has a whole furniture, uh, you know, like a line of furniture that he sells. So you can have him. No, no Patrick on the side. You want someone who can carry your craft supplies from room to room? Well, you need a big enough craft room that you don't need to carry them anywhere. I remember when Jamie and Stacy were friends. <laughs> and then she stole my man. And we're not friends anymore. Jason, Jason Momoa, and I don't like him. You can have him. <laughs> Janie likes Long Duck Dong. <laughs> That's her guy. Sure that one was pretty on there. Or that one. Or that one. 
<laughs> Professional wrestler. Ugh, no. I don't like barbaric looking men. I can't do that. It's not my jam. You can have all of them. Paper. There it is. Keep cutting this one. Nah, I don't think so. You can have them all for you. small things anyway. The problem is that side's gonna be the straightest side probably. Took a right playing your game. Mm, just moved around. straight there people okay now I'm gonna figure out what the straight side is on this one and I believe it's that side and I'm gonna say it probably is that side on here. the hell out of that one. Nice. Smooth, smooth. Excellent. Okay, so these two are done. 
smaller thing. I hurt my wrist. That was hurdy. That was very hurdy. Breaking bad. bud. Nope. See, Carl's nice because I don't have to put any pressure on him. Nine times out of ten, he just cuts properly. He's a good little boy. is enjoying his night of cutting because he says he felt useless lately. He's felt very useless lately, so he's happy to be doing something with himself. <laughs> he's happy that I'm doing something with him. He's felt very neglected. That one. Now let's cut it a little more up here. That one's more, got a little more purpley vibe going on. And we've got some purple here, which will help bring out the purples in that, potentially. Maybe, sort of, kind of, a little bit. We want to oh man, did I have to do that? Did that have to happen? More darker purple or this purple? I'm taking that purple actually after I knock everything on the floor over here. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Which way are you? You're that way, I think. It's your flat side. So we're just going to have to straighten you out with a cut of scissors if you don't look very straight. It's going to be crooked. Dog-eared corner off. That's better. And yeah, Carl should find the baby cutter. It's his baby. You don't pay attention to your baby very well, Carl. Chicken's like, you said baby? I'm the baby. No, Tigger, you're the annoying child. Dennis the Menace. Tigger the Menace. today. You like shows that glorify drugs and violence? Got a lot of anger inside there, do you, Laura? <laughs> Zoe. Hold on. Let me tuck painting the ass in. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. We're not doing nothing. You're going to come over here and lay down. You hear me? Come on. You get nothing. You got all the things you need. Right here. Lay down. Right now. Go night night. Right now. Yeah. Good boy. Lay down. Go night night. Okay? Tuck tuck. Night night. All the cups, all the things. Stay there now. Spill. Why over there? I don't know. Anyway. You never seen Pulp Fiction? I've seen it. I mean, it's not my favorite movie, it's okay. I'm not a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. Tape go. Oh, it's hiding Get over here. At least I found that today. I was able to find the tape. Can't find the little cutter, but I found the tape. The little cutter probably ran away because this freaking room is such a disaster. It's like tired of being here. 
I like Breaking Bad. That was one of my favorite shows. If it's a movie I really want to see, I could sit still for it, but if not, then I'm just, you know, not as able to sit still for it as I used to be. Have a good night, Jamie. I'm oh, sorry. About your oh your kid had on chemo? Oh sorry to hear that. I haven't been paying attention very well to the chat as I should have. So I don't I'm out of the loop. But sorry to hear that. And I hope she feels better and gets better. kind of thing. Where's the, the dots? What do I do with my dots? Oh, they're over here. I lost my little dots. They all disappeared. They ran away. And they're not coming back. No more dots for you. Thank you. 
There we go. Pretty card with sparkling flowers. Now I'm going to sparkle all over the place. Must have not done that with the double sided tape. Did it with something else. It must have been like a. I don't know what I did that with. How it, I don't know how the sparkle's on there because it doesn't feel like it's on there with the double-sided tape. It feels like it's on there with a the glue. So, I don't know. I don't know. Could be anything. Well, I think I'm going to get off of here for tonight because I still have a couple things to do before the auction tomorrow and before I go to bed. Um, and I'm just tired today. I'll put this together another day, maybe tomorrow night. But Janie and I will see you guys tomorrow at 4.30 Central. What's that? Oh, for the auction? That's the link for the auction. Thanks, Janie. But you guys have a good night, and I will see you later, alligator. I'm going to go get something to eat, because I'm hungry, and then finish a couple things, and then go to bed. But have a good night, and thanks for hanging out. Bye! Poodle back out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.